Hallelujah. We are acting as if we are not supposed to be here. Are you supposed to be here? So if you are supposed to be here, shout hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Now this last time I want you to shake, you know, every part of your soul. And I want your hallelujah to drive whatever negativity that you have in your house. Shout a wonderful hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Let us have a seat before God. Please let us forget as it's kit people put make sure. Let's go. Please thank you. We are in the month of September, right? From uh want to bless God on behalf of this church. I first of all want to appreciate you. Last week I was um, in an harvest and I was looking at the service and i want to appreciate you all all that came all that did well all that tried may god be with us all in the name of jesus when i came back from that harvest my mindset was to rest relax but the lord put me on a kind of a diet and that's why you can see me in a way coughing in a way because when you lack some things that is supposed to help it will show and so the lord told me that this month for everyone that believe everything that you have been asking from january to now the lord will do it for you in the name of jesus the lord revealed that yes we might have something someone powers trying to do some things maybe you know cut it short not make you have it but god has said that for anyone that is in your way if they do not change god is going to drag them to hell in the name of jesus so concerning september there is something that god wants to do for you something that god is about to give you something that will make those that have ridiculed you you know sometimes people will say some things about us because they thought they know us they know us that i know him he's me. i know his father i know his mother what can he do i know everything about him so, and because of that they begin to pronounce and sometimes because of the gift of god because every power has come from god whether the right side or the left side it's god's own sometimes they want to use these powers to do some things but god is saying today to you if you believe that this month this is your month that you will praise god in the name of jesus i declare that something glorious is coming to you in the name of jesus something spectacular will occur in your life in the name of jesus dignity is coming to your life in the name of jesus god will add colors to your life in the name of jesus your destiny will rise in the name of jesus and i pray that all of these prayers that i've said shall be permanent in the name of jesus now that being said and with our belief there are some things that we need to do for many of these to come to pass there are some requirements can you look at somebody that said requirements and today god just wants to discuss with us one one of those requirements and that is why the team for this world today is giving back to god can somebody say giving back to god on thursday god gave us the grace for many that came my mom here and many other people we discuss it is a gift from god everything we have see i was complaining and i was trying to make god understand some things you know me i'm one son that god has have and he doesn't know what to do again because i would begin to ask questions so i begin to ask and ask that god why this why that the people the church and the lord told me he said when you are asking me all these questions why don't you ask me why did i keep you alive many of us here all those plans that we have to build houses to make somebody was telling me yesterday ah will you tell us start making six figures my my coming to church will be one sunday of one sunday in i said god bless you you said really 
Ah, I was looking. But the point is, but I venture that we did not wake up this morning. Would every of those things be possible? I want to have husband and uh, six feet tall. Some people they are they are their ideal husband is never in the script in the in the script of God. Six feet, six feet nine, you know, six pack, you know, six figures minimum. We would count all of this. And God might have written that even your husband will be somebody that you pull up that will become that great. So you're looking down at your husband and looking up onto a boyfriend for a husband. God will be with us in the name of Jesus. So the Lord told me, He said, You, you, sometimes I look at you, you wake up, you just run real time, and, and you don't even appreciate that I am giving you an opportunity to reconcile, to make things better for your future. Many of us, that is the reason why God is keeping you. So that you can change. Imagine we did this last month. The day that we are without our sutana, uh, without our ranks. And every day like this, I love it. Because it's less oro for me. <laughs> you know, you wear one, you button, you button, you tighten your loin, you put another, you tighten your loin, you then you put another. We wear like three. And then when everybody is enjoying the cool breeze, you are asking when will the service be over so that I can enjoy the same. May God be with us in the name of Jesus. Giving back to God. How do we even start? Let us go to the second Bible reading. That's where we're going to start from. The requirement for us as kingdom men and kingdom women that would receive in this month of September. Please. I want everyone to have your Bible. Open your Bible. This is a Bible reading church. My sister, carry Bible. God bless you. John chapter 4. Sir, they said. Oh, please hold on. John chapter 4. Yes. I want, before you read that, I want all of us to read chapter 34. Please open your Bible. If you are there, say hallelujah. hallelujah. So not all of us. We are going to read it together. John chapter 4, verse 34. Please hold on. Are we all there? I want every of our guests to be there. Let us make sure that the guests are there. So if you are there, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So John 4, 34. And it's read. You are going to be go. My, My food, food said Jesus, Jesus, is to, is to do, do the will of, of him who has sent me and, and to, to finish his work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our duty is to do the will of God and to finish it. Now, the point is, he said, is to do the will of Him that has sent Him. The question that you need to ask yourself is, who sent you to this earth? Because if it is not the divine God, that sent you to this art then there's there's no way that you'll be able to fulfill the purpose of the divine god and what i meant by that is he said in his word that when that farmer planted good seed the enemy came and planted weed i'm telling you there are creations of the devils on this earth may god help us in the name of jesus and sometimes we are like eve when god has made us well we will go and add additional spirit. Well, if you have a good food, let's say good meat that you want to eat, and you take the bile, you know, the bile duct, and you pour it on it, will you be able to eat it? That is what we do sometimes when we acquire some things that is not of God, and we bring in into ourselves. What that thing will do is most of the time it will drive out that spirit of God in you and make himself the champion. And then you begin to do the will of him that has sent you because now you have another master jesus said i have come to do the will of him that has sent me and to finish it you know beginning is not it i tell people the only prayer that i want people to pray for me yes i love money i want to be rich 
But the prayer that I love most is pray for me that this young man has started well, he has to finish well and finish strong. Because many of us, we know what God wants us to do. We started with what God wants us to do, but sometimes things happen. You have money flow in and then you begin to change. You have women flow in and things begin to change. You have ranks flow in and now you are superior evangelists and no one can tell you anything anymore. You don't even regard God. I have seen many people that call themselves shepherds. I've seen many people that call themselves elders. Three days we are supposed to stay clean. If you are going to enter into the altar, the altar starts from here. But these men of God will still do wrong and they still want to leave the service or conduct something. And most of us are forgotten that things don't just go wrong one time. For my mothers that are here, because I think I'm older than all the boys here. God bless you in the name of Jesus. For my old mothers that are older than me, it is not the same day that a, a young man crosses an iroko tree that that iroko tree will fall on that song. No, it takes time. And so we begin to do wrong. We begin to do wrong and begin to do wrong. And then when the result comes, then we begin to say it is the witches. It is the wizard. My father used to say something that if to say God permits the witches and the wizard to answer to some of our cases, they will tell us, you know, but share me upon share a while I want to know share where you some witches will declare that that we don't even want you see this person, we have never touched this person before. It is his act. Hallelujah. And why do we have to do the will of God? Why do we have to finish it? The point is when you start with the will of God and you are consistent with the will of God, there is something that God wants to do for you. And that is in verse 38. God wants to bring you to begin to harness in places where you've never read. The best thing to do in life is to do the will of God. Everything will fall into place. I'm not saying you'll be the most richest person on that. Uh, God did not promise that. But God promised that every of your need will be met. Is there anybody here that the need is not met? What is the need? The true need of man? You have clothes. You have food. You have car. You have house. Hmm? Car gone is, is, is luxury. <laughs> so as God knows done enough, you know people that have gone out and never came in. The same place that you went to. Sometimes you, you would want to go out and then you will feel something will just be occurring and then you, ah, why am I late? And then when you pass, you find out, oh my God, this accident, maybe that would have been you. But the point is, are we doing the will of God? Am I doing the will of God as I'm supposed to do it? Let's look at Christ as our own example. What did our Lord Jesus Christ, at least we confess Jesus Christ as our Lord, our personal Savior. Go to Japan only most of us, man, look. We use our mouth to confess and we use our act to deconfess. What did Christ do? All that Christ did on earth was to help others grow. Help others maximize their purpose. He that needed to see to fulfill his purpose, he gave them sight. You want to tell me that it is all the blinds in terms of Jesus that see? No. He that was there that was uh, that has the purpose has to be risen up so that I could fulfill the purpose. And that was why we would have to go to the first lesson. What did the first lesson say? Because I'm trying to look at time so that we'll be able to say our prayers that we are ordained to say. But I want to finish the sermon before the prayers. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 26. Verse 1. Let us see verse number one and verse number two alone. When you have entered the land the Lord your God is given you yes. as an inheritance yes. and have taken possession of it and settled in it, yes. take some of the first fruits of all that you produce. I want us to note that God did not say take everything. What did God say? Some. Can you cast over this song? Some. Look at another this song. Some. You see, the problem that we have is we forgot that God says some. Even that some, who gave it to you? God. 
I, I was so smart when I, I just look at the market and I knew that Coca Cola is going to go up. So I bought Coca Cola and voila, I made 20,000. Mm. It was God that gave me that idea. Uh, let God take the idea of you will buy something that will make you lose 20,000. Mm. I love, I love my job. Ah! I love my job so much. And then you use the same job to denounce God so many things. And then when something happens in the future, then you begin to say, God, why me? Like, you, like God holds you something. Mm. So, God is telling us, bring some. Uh -huh. Start from there. Take some yes. of the first fruits yes. of all that you produce yes. from the soil of the land yes. the Lord your God is yes. given you uh -huh. and put them in a basket. Put them in a basket. Then go to the place the let Lord us leave it there god bless you in the name of jesus Amen. then go to the place where god has placed your name and you know we will deal with that later look at many of us look at our faces oh, we are beautiful we are handsome we are not missing a leg we are not missing a hand uh, imagine it's not that somebody will see you out you know there are some people in this art where you see them you will first of all want to run away until you, oh my god there's a person god did not make you like that it's not that we're mocking them and one of the will of god that god wants us to do is to give back to him and that is why god said take some of the things that i've given to you and bring it to my house a place where god has placed your name i tell people you have to know your church if you go to the wrong church you have wrong results if you go to the right church you have right results god said take some not all Are you giving anything to god it's not i tell you people it is not always about money most preachers will make it it's not always about money we have 24 hours in one day how many of those times did you give to god just to say i have knowledge you god 24 1 2 to 24 i bet most of us if there's another additional hour it will be for ourselves and ourselves alone god told us come before me 10 o'clock i know many of us we have so many things that we got to do but some of us will not even be a minute late to our places of work some of us we will be on time for everything even for parties my friend is celebrating will be on time we'll be there to start even before everybody we will cook help them cook help them serve help them do everything what about god the will of god is to give back to him and there's a question that I asked myself, Psalm 50, verse 12. Because some of the times we pressed on God, we, we begin to say, God, uh, we say, God does not eat, uh, Amala. He does not eat, Inyo. He does not eat, uh, what's that soup that uh, my sister Bridget, uh, my sister Juliet loves, that we see does not eat any of that what god wants is your offering and it's not just the offering your heart how appreciative are you and psalm 50 verse number 12. for if i were hungry yes i would not l tell you yes for the world is mine yes and all that is in it if god god bless you man if god is hungry god bless you also if god is hungry he is not going to ask us for meal from us for many of us i think uh, if i take this to the house of god now ah uh, that maybe this is going to make that pastor reach you so i'm not going to take it to him and uh, go and throw it in the trash it does not do anything to god it does not everything that we bring to the house of god is so that the house of god can stay open here we have an open policy every of our things we do we put it is written down you want the uh you want to see the papers of the church you want to see how we do it in a month it's there but the purpose of our bringing back to god is so that the kingdom can increase so that the kingdom does not shrink so that the kingdom can always increase what have we with here we've not even really taken care of the widows have we the homeless no no the hungry that we feed we've not even feed that much. Has there been a time that we fed 500? 
Uh -huh. we, we, we have not even close to what our Lord did. But we will be acting as if we have done more than enough. That's the question that God asked me. That life that you that you have now that is making you question me. If I take it, who would you question? Would you question me in the grave? Many of you that have so much question. Along with me, a me, a mini worko, but my children go Abraham and go card, and we don't have anything close to what Abraham has. A mini worko fill up. Do you know how Abraham served? We are to do the will of God, and one of it is to give back to Him. How many people have you even helped? It is not about, or maybe you give them clothes, or you give them house, or you give them car. That even you said something good to somebody that is humble trying to go and kill themselves and that your word give them life and your word kept them standing how many how many people have you added to the body of christ eh? but when we ask how many people have you chased away from christ now there's so many you'll be stepping on toes you don't like them you step on toes is there somebody that is trying to come and you see ah, this person has rank than me you want to make sure that person doesn't come again so that you can be the most highly ranked person you are in the choir you sing there's somebody that can sing better than you you want to step on that person so that the person doesn't come so that you can become this only singer so eh? you are part of the youth they give you a position you want to be you know these are the things that we need to look at if you don't give back unto god then you are taken away from his kingdom it is as simple as that no if you are not helping me what does that mean then you're against me it's, it's simple a house cannot be against itself if it's against itself it's going to tear apart so if you're against your maker that is the reason why things is not flowing the way it's supposed to flow can two work together unless they agree they have to agree and now look at us today they ask us to humble ourselves where this at least if anybody that does not know me come into the church now they will not even know that this is a shepherd this is the way that god wants us to live our life humble life don't carry shoulder that shoulder god can cut it away let us stay humble and do the will of god and one thing that we're talking about the will of god today is giving back to him give back to him i was discussing with someone that was talking about tight i said look i don't care about your understanding of tight but the question i want to ask is which verse which one are you following the new testament or the old testament he said he doesn't care about the old testament he wants to go with the new testament i said go to the book of acts what did the book of acts says the apostle what did they do everyone was selling their houses selling their things and giving it to the church so that the church can grow so i said okay forget about that what are you bringing to god this this guy attends living faith no we're just discussing i said you are that your church have you sold most of the properties and give it to them to help them and you want to complain hey this this and that what have we even done for god ask yourself what have you you what have i done for god that you think this just tell me this is something that i've done that but i know tomorrow god has to keep me alive because of this thing that i've done because see there's none of us that has that on god none i've never seen that person may god help us in the name of jesus can somebody shout hallelujah are we ready to do the will of god now we have to help ourselves help everyone don't hate anybody love all people that's one of the giving back is there somebody do this to me and you hate them then you become like them two wrong doesn't make right me keep hating me i'll keep blessing you you come to my house i will feed you you need money if i have it i'll help you with it guess what do me wrong and then god will fight my battle hallelujah what does giving back do giving back is an act of obedience can somebody say obedience if you give back to god it is to tell god that you acknowledge god in obedience have you ever seen anybody trade with god and that failed I, I want to trade with God and then God make the person to fail. No, the, the thing is we do wrong trading. 
what i mean by that is if you want to give anything to god just give it don't say ah timakoko for one thing if i give them now they'll be doing this then, then that offering is not an offering uh, thank you that offering is what no, like, i tell people when i'm driving with you i will get to a junction and somebody is begging for money if you want to give just give if i'm beside you i begin to complain i want to oh yeah they're supposed to find the work what are they even doing on the road and then you dip your hand you want to give i tell them i usually tell people keep your money it's not acceptable before god don't waste it because you've already complained before you give if you you are just you are just dashing you are not doing arms god help us in the name of jesus giving is an act of trust can open the book of mark chapter 12 that is one of the women and somebody in the choir open act of apostles chapter 5. i promise to i'm trying to be quick just bear with me god help us in the name of jesus mark chapter 12 one of our women read verse 41 2 to verse number 44. <laughs> Somebody with a Bible, please. Read. Now Jesus sat opposite the treasury and saw how the people put money into the treasury. I want you to follow this. So Jesus is sitting. You know, sometimes in our church we put tray down. So Jesus was sitting, looking into how people were dropping money. This is our Lord Jesus Christ. We're talking about giving us an act of trust. Uh huh. And many who were rich yes. put in much. Yes, those that were rich were putting thousands. Mm -hmm. Then one poor widow came yes. and threw uh, in two mites, which make a quadrant. Yes. So he called his disciples to himself and said to them, uh -huh. Assuredly, I say to you that yes. this poor widow mm -hmm. has put in more than all those who has given yes. to the treasury yes for they all put in out of their abundance uh -huh. but she put out of her poverty put in all that she had her whole livelihood hallelujah see now god bless you christ was not looking at the money that they were given he was looking into what they have you know many of us in the church we love to show off yes i have i am without me a shepherd cannot eat good luck god bless you without me he cannot do this good luck god bless you but christ was looking and he saw that the woman gave that which she had so which means people that were donated thousand millions actually have many they would not even feel it in their, but that woman gave what she would feel and the lord said this is the most blessed person giving is an act of trust it will make god trust you with more when you give i'm not saying and we've read that's why i want us to read that deuteronomy so that we can know god did not say give all god said give some if you start giving something that will make you to start grumble better keep it because that grumble will notify your giving and it will become a waste hallelujah and the story of Ananias and Sapphira, that's the one in Acts of Apostles. Please let it, let's just not read, but just write it down. They decided they are going to sell their property and give it to the church. They decided. They. Just like many of us would decide. We would tell within ourselves, for this harvest, I am doing this. You are the one that decide. You are the one that made that oath with God. And then when they come to time, and then you begin to say, Oh, do I promise to? But I can only give one. They came brought the money but they've already taken part of it and what happened we will not die in the name of jesus i know none of us is going to die none of us we are not ready yet we are going to be fulfilled we are going to be glorified we are going to be happy we will enjoy and reap the fruit of our labor in the name of jesus but we need to know what we are giving many of us you know many of us has been thinking within ourselves this is what i want to do for god and you've been thinking since some three years ago some two years ago some since january until now they've been thinking the thinking has never come into conclusion but they can do other things we have people in this world that will go to Ojabu or what they call it 
Ifele or Shiva uh, Koni or whatever it is, and they can spray a thousand, two thousand dollars there, but they will come to the house of God, and they, it is very hard to drop a dollar. Because what? It is what? What would that give them? They have to be in a place whereby you know people will see them. And the reward is just in that. That's the reward. Fame. We got fake life. Thank you, man. God bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Given is an act of service. First Timothy five eighteen. Given is an act of service. First Timothy five eighteen. It seems many people did not sleep last night. God will help all of us in the name of Jesus. I'm inclusive too. Verse 18. Yes, 1 Timothy 5, 18. Uh Uh-huh. Do, oh God. For scripture says, Mm -hmm. do not muzzle an ox while it is treading out the grain. Uh Uh-huh. And the worker deserves his wages. God bless you in the name of Jesus. When you have somebody that has rendered a service to you, pay them what they are due. You know many of us, you will be the one to borrow money from somebody. And then when you borrow five dollars, you are always paying back four point five or four point nine. You've never paid the same amount back. You you your agreement is always under uh, what is it? Under payments. I'm trying to find a better word for that. You should change people you you will call somebody for service they've already told before they came is 150. when they are done they begin to tell them can you take 105 they are already done uh, please you know my husband my wife let me tell you this is what god is telling us here that given should be an act of service it, it should be trusted it, it should be a thing of trust it shouldn't be something that you have to argue about may god help us there in the name of jesus we are going to get there don't worry this church by the grace of god will best will be the best giver in truth and in spirit and in worship in the name of jesus we will not be those ones that show up we will not do that god will help us in the name of jesus and given is an act of worship psalm number 96 verse number 8 psalm 96 verse 8 can somebody read? Yes, give to the Lord His name. The glory that is due to His name. Bring an offering. Bring an offering. What did He say? Bring an offering. Uh huh. And come into His courts. And come into His court. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Whenever you come before God, don't just come for coming sake. I tell you in every church uh, because i've seen some of our mothers here that i've not seen before in any church that you attend you need to be part of those that attend to the need of that church i'm i'm not talking about church that waste there are some churches that waste money you know you know what i'm saying like the pastor is using a jet and they still have people that still walk from their place of work they walk at 50 kilometers 10 kilometers i'm not talking about that i'm asking this is what i'm asking god that this church when we get to that level at least the median of this church are people that are using like omaji then you know the church is blessed but we'll be blessed in the name of jesus so whenever you come before god you have to come with something an act of praise an act of worship don't when everybody's dancing and your eye is like you know somebody forced you from your house it's not acceptable and then you are carrying a, a big offering with so much thing that you put in there but your heart is not there how do you want god to accept it so giving is an act of worship and i pray that god help us there in the name of jesus i'm going to leave us with this first chronicle 28 first chronicle 28 verse number nine and verse number ten but what we will do is i want you to read verse number ten first and then you read verse number nine 
This is Solomon speaking, and uh, this is David speaking to Solomon. Uh -huh. Consider uh -huh. now. God's purpose for Solomon. Uh -huh. Consider now. Consider now. For the Lord has chosen you to build a house. God has chosen you. Can't say God has chosen me. God has chosen me. You see, yours might not be to build a house for God, but God has chosen you for a purpose. God has chosen me. Can you say so? God has chosen me? Uh huh. The Lord has chosen you to build the house uh -huh. as, as a sanctuary. Yes. Be strong and do the work. Whatever that God has chosen you to do, the advice is to be strong and do it. <coughs> Some people might want to tell you, I said, you, oh, you are doing too much. You are the only one. You, you, want to, you want people to attack you. You want people to affect you. You want people to do this. Be strong and do it. Because if you are not strong and you are not doing it, then you are not fulfilling the purpose of him that has sent you. Then that means you are fulfilling the purpose of another person. We need to think. And that's why I said something. And you, yes, you, my son Solomon, yes, acknowledge the God of your father uh -huh. and serve him with all utter devotion. Yes. And with a willing mind yes for the lord searches every heart this is the part i want us to look at for god searches every art he didn't say some people's art he searches every art maybe it's the art of the wizard art of the wizard art of the shepherd art of the children he searches every art uh-huh and understands every desire and then he understands every desire every desire even the ones that you are trying to plan or think of you understand the end part of that game uh-huh and every thought and every thought uh-huh if you seek him if you seek him that is if you are strong and then you do god's purpose uh-huh he will he will be he will be found by you he will be found by you you will always find god in everything the hand of god in everything you will always find god in everything but once you put your hands on something it must flourish once you set your leg into a place you will begin to reap nothing evil will come even when they try you will always triumph because god did not tell us that we're not going to try us he told us he said to you come with the with the shed why uh-huh but if you forsake him but if you don't if you are not strong and you don't do it maybe it's because so that people are want him i will be so that one need me so that they wouldn't say i'm the only one and you are not strong and you don't do it then what he will reject you forever we will never be rejected in the name of jesus he will reject that person forever can you see some of the little things that we do now that sometimes we think it is the witches is the wizard it is not the witches it is not the wizard yes there are powers but if you are for god they will always so sometimes all of these people will push you and push you and push you they will make you strong and strong to the level that they can't touch you anymore because this, you are not the same again if you are strong and you do it you will find god if you are weak and you don't do it you'll be rejected it's as simple i didn't write the bible so what i'm telling you is think of what god asked me that life that you have that life that is making your mouth to you blah, 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 blah. if it takes it who would you go to and that is why you have to fulfill the purpose because you don't know tomorrow we, we sang a song today he said no one knows tomorrow no one as any prophet i know the situation they say tell them the prophet that you the policy that you give now that the prophecy that you give now tell me what time that god will do it none of them they can they can try they can tell you next month tell them dates time minutes seconds they don't know the mind of god so no one knows tomorrow and the purpose for which i'm going to tell us today the purpose for which we come to surrender to christ which is what i'm going to end it with is in, in 279 can you put in 279 i want everyone to open it because i'm going to be discussing while we're looking at it and i will end this the purpose where god has brought many to celestial church of christ if you are there shout hallelujah we are not all there in 279 i think it's like age page 84. it says come unto me come unto me 
come unto me so ye might receive the grace the purpose for which you have come to celeste is to receive grace the grace to function without struggle the, gra- the grace to become a conqueror the grace to become a success the grace to become a glory that is the purpose uh, and then verse 2 said mine is salvation but if you look at the true meaning in here is life mine is life that is what it's supposed to be and mercy is mine only is mine which means you have to seek after life seek after mercy seek after holiness those are the things we kick at and that's we said bring come with your sins into celestia which means when you are calling to celestia god knows that you are not perfect if if god wants perfect people then the church should not be a church church is a clinical ground it's a place where you are supposed to come in and then begin to experience change that is why when i see some churches and then they see people because they look at them and they feel they are not worthy they begin to send them out why would you do that you are supposed to convert and save that is given back to god when you convert one soul what did the bible says he said the host of ages will rejoice and then some of the sins will be wiped out so the question that i have is when you now chase people away from god which means some of your sins that has been forgotten will be remembered and then your names will now be wiped out <laughs> it has two ways in life you, you can't change the word of god and the reason why you need to come with your sin is you will receive mercy from jesus christ i pray that god mercy will side with us in the name of jesus